In this video, we'll be knowing about the extensions that we should be using inside our Visual Studio Code to increase our productivity. The first extension that we'll be using is Prettier. It's a code formatter. Make sure to install it. And when we click on the Format Document option, here we get the option for Prettier to format it using Prettier. But we'll Automate the process. So visit settings and from there use the search panel search for format. Here currently default formatter is set to none. We need to change it. Change it to prettier and make sure that format on save is on. Now every time we press Ctrl S it will format the code for us automatically. The next extension that we are going to be using is Codium AI. It's a free AI autocomplete and code compilation extension. It gives a several autocomplete suggestion. And the main thing is that it's completely free. You don't need your credit card. So make sure to install it. After that, you'll be asked to sign in. And after you are signed in, it will start providing valuable suggestions that will make your job easier and it will increase lot of productivity in your work. As it provides four suggestions, we can either use this, we can press tab to accept it or we can cancel it. For this, I'm pressing tab and this way it just created a delete endpoint for my notes app. The next extension that we are going to be using is Thunder Client, a simple and lightweight alternative for Postman that we are going to be mainly using it for API endpoint testing. It's almost similar to Postman. Here we need to simply add the URL and send a request and we can also specify what kind of request are we sending, get, post, delete, patch. We need to simply send it and it will result the response within the same extension. The next extension is Git Lens, Git Supercharge. This extension is very helpful where multiple developers are contributing to a same repository. With the help of this, we can easily know that who contributed to which part of the code and when the, the person contributed and also the difference between the previous and the current code. Here you will find the extension option and here you can get the files changed, line history as well as file history, visual history and also search and compare. When we hover over the code it will tell us that when the user contributed to this code on clicking on it, we can also load what changes that the user made. And in this way, this extension can be very helpful and it can increase a lot of productivity in work. Next extension is Code Spell Checker. Make sure to install it. Here, after we install, we can get if we have any spelling mistakes within our code. The place where we have any spelling mistake and we can use quick fix to fix it. We can also use the shortcut as control dot. It will load all the suggestions like this and we can fix spelling mistakes inside our code. Our next extension is live server. Make sure to install it. After you have installed the extension, here you will be getting the option as go live. Click on this and now it will run on inside localhost 5500 port. And now you can view the website that we have built. If we made any changes inside the website, this will be instantly reflected. This is a very helpful tool for website development. 
Next extension is auto close tag. If we open a tag, it will close it automatically. Like here, if we create a section and close it, it will write it automatically. In some cases, VS Code by default closes the tag automatically, but in some cases not. In that case, it can be very helpful. Now next extension is auto rename tag. This extension is very helpful. Just make sure to install it. This section has a starting form here and ends here. What we can do if we want that instead of section, we want it inside an article tag. So we'll remove this now. And now we can use article like this. In this way, we can change the tag that is linked to it. Like this article is linked with this. If we change on this article, it will automatic suppose if we make it as div this will be also getting changed as div so the auto rename tag is really very helpful extension next extension is indent rainbow this extension is very helpful when we are coding python or yaml files because there indentation matters a lot if you do something wrong with indentation then the result will be wrong so for this when i'm coding inside for loop then i can easily know that this loop is ending here so this extension is really very helpful next extension is draw.io integration extension this extension is very helpful for drawing UML diagram or flowcharts. What do you need to do? After you have installed the extension, you can simply create a file. Let's give it a name as diagram dot draw io and it will open this kind of UI and from here we can create any flowchart or something that we want very easily. Next extension is Polar Code. It's an extension for clicking screenshot of your code. If I want a screenshot of this code, then first I need to open this extension. First, I need to type Control P, then use greater than symbol, type Polar, polar Code. And first I need to copy this code that I need to make a screenshot just copy it here and then I need to remove this existing code and paste it here now I can decorate it now it's looking something like this I can also make it bigger or smaller now after you have got the current position you can click on the camera icon and it will ask for the file name just save it and now it, it will look something like this and now you can use this image to share with someone or use it in your blog post. For coding more faster, we should be using snippets. There are several snippets extensions for different languages and framework. I cannot cover all of them in single video. But the main point, you need to find the extension by yourself you need to just enter the name of the language or the framework that you are working on and then snippets suppose if you are working on react you will be using react snippets if you are working on python you will be searching for python snippets and if you are working with flutter then you will search for flutter snippets like this you will find various snippets extensions snippets are just some small shortcut when you type them it results with some default template that can make your coding more faster. Now a bonus tip, if you are running a low specs machine, then on running several extensions all at once might hang your system. So it's better to reduce the number of active extensions running when we are working on some specific project. Suppose in my case, I'm currently working on a Node.js project. 
I will not be requiring the Dart extension, the React extension and the Tailwind CSS extension. So it's better to disable them for my current workspace. If I disable them for my current workspace, then it is not uninstalling the extension. But for my current folder that I'm working, it's just disabling it for that. And make sure to restart all the extensions and this will free a lot of RAM on your machine. If you find this video helpful, then make sure to like this video. If you want to recommend some more extensions, you are most welcome to write it in comments. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.